minutes and seven seconds. I tried my darndest not to progress anything until I got back online. Yes, that's me. Is there something I can help you with? How do you do, Mr. Chow? Oh, wow. I understand from Mr. Crossell that you... My associates and I are... The hairpins. I don't know. I spent so much money on them. I... My f We now have a backlog. A big banquet is... That's what the hairpins were... F but now that I've lost... <gasps> what? I've already been through all this. Would you really? I sent a... Hold on. Don't... Huh? Well, I mean, sure. Let me see. That's right! Yanfi said she's true. Right. I finished reading the contract. The terms are very clear, and they do indeed stipulate that you must pay Mr. Crossell the original value of the hairpins as compensation for the loss. Furthermore, the contract also expressly states that the amount of compensation must take current market prices into account. And given the rarity of Smaragdus Jadeite, I fear that the final amount of compensation may end up being significantly higher as a result. Even higher? Oh, no. Uh-oh. Jitcho looks like she's about to faint. However, all of this is assuming that it is indeed genuine Smaragdus Jadeite that was inlaid into the hairpins. Did you really have to pause before saying that part? Anyway, the hairpins are lost, so how exactly would we be able to find out if the Jadeite is genuine or not? Hey, I just noticed that Paimon has some stock animations. Like, she has like four different animations. Depending on the dialogue. The stomping, the shrug, and the, like, the point. Those three followed by the little floaty thingy. Oh, and probably the face palm. But that's about it. There, there's no... It's kind of weird. She has very specific, interchangeable animations. Whichever way you look at it, we've got to start by finding those hairpins. That's the shrug. Except that if we found the hairpins, there'd no longer be any need to check whether the Jedi is genuine, would there? Uh, seems right. Please. Please, I... Don't trouble yourselves over this. The fact is, I lost the item, and I should pay compensation per the contract. Wait, now that I think about it... How would you... That implies that, to me at least, that you can't go looking for it and get it. You have to determine whether or not it's genuine without examining it. That's bull. That that is overly complicated or near impossible. It might be possible, but I'm not gonna take the time to figure that out. 